Hi, my name is Megan and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a few of my favorite sewing patterns for kids' pajamas. I have two kids, a seven-year-old girl and a two-and-a-half-year-old boy, and I can tell you one thing, we go through a ton of pajamas. Pajamas aren't the most exciting thing to sew, but they are one of my favorite things because for kids they're fast, they're fun, they're a great way to use up bits of fabric, and an awesome way to practice different sewing techniques. Today I thought I would share with you a few of my favorite sewing patterns for kids' pajamas. Some of them are even free, um, so that you can maybe find some ways to practice some new techniques or practice some, some things if you're a little bit rusty or if you're a new sewer. Kids' pajamas are a great way to try something out because ultimately they're low risk. Who's going to see them if they're your own kids? As long as it's safe for them to wear, who really cares what they look like? So the first pattern I'm going to share with you is actually a couple patterns. So this is a pajama set that I've made for my son a few times. And it's actually two different patterns from the same pattern company. Love Notions. Love Notions is one of my favorites. I've talked about them before um, and I have tested for them, but I didn't test these patterns. So these patterns I have purchased and I've used in many different ways. And it's a fun way to think about the patterns that you might have in your stash a little bit differently. So you don't have to go out and buy pajama patterns. Pajamas are essentially like tight fitting pants or shorts and some kind of top or lengthened t-shirt into a nightgown. So I had two patterns in my stash and my little guy needed some new jammies and um, I took a look at the leggings pattern that Love Notions offers and it's free. And so I've used it for my daughter, I've made gifts, um, I've used it for pajamas, I've used it for shorts. It's great, it's simple, it's easy, and it's fantastic practice for things like attaching elastic waistbands, top stitching, if you wanna get fancy with your twin needle or your cover stitch, great practice for your serger. And it doesn't use a ton of fabric, so if you have like long, skinny, awkward pieces left over after cutting out a project, this one's great for it. It's only two pattern pieces for a different yoga waistband, which I don't ever use. I often use the elastic, or always use an elastic waistband when I make it. But I think if, you know, your kids prefer like a softer waistband option, it's there too. It's just made out of like a nice, cute space print fabric that I picked up. Like, I think I, I think I got a meter of this and I had some extra that I used for something else, but you could totally get these little leggings that are basically like off cut or remnant piece. And for the top for these pajamas, I paired it with their Vanguard kit top. So it's a color blocked knit top that you, I have also made several times with sweatshirt fleece or um, brushed French terry or sweatshirting, but this one's just made with the same cotton jersey. And so it's just a long sleeve t-shirt with a set in sleeve. Um, so it was great, it's got cuffs, so it was great to practice lots of different techniques with the neckband. Um, on the leggings, you could put a band, like a cuff, on the bottom of the leggings if you wanted to, but I just hemmed them. And I think in this, this pair, I was learning how to use my cover stitch, yeah. So I, that was one of my first cover stitch attempts with the little, the little cuff. So these are really fun to make. Um, I like a tight-fitting knit pant, uh, even on little boys, I think. Um, Close-fitting pajamas are really cute, and that's sort of my favorite. Store-bought PJs are either the Jimbery, Jimbery, is that what it's called? They went out of business. That's too bad, they were cute PJs. Uh, Jimbery pajamas or the Carter's pajamas, but these are great, and um, Logan wears them a ton. Uh, the fabric, like, they are well-loved. All the jammies I'm going to show you today are, well, are really well-loved. They've been washed and worn like probably hundreds of times at this point, and he's almost grown out of them. So it'll be time to pass these ones down. But so for knit PJs, for little boy or little girl, Love Notions leggings and their Vanguard kit top, or any other long sleeve top, is it's just perfect for Calgary and where we live. Um, so those are a favorite. I've also paired the leggings again, um, and these, this was the very first thing I made on my new serger and cover stitch. <laughs> I didn't even cut the, the tails. So the very first project I made on my cover stitch machine after I bought it, and I was so excited with it, um, was the same pair of pants. And then for summertime, I made a little tank top. So this is the Peekaboo Patterns Maui Muscle Tee. And so this pattern has a color block option, but I just made the solid front and back because I wanted to practice top stitching along the neckband and along the armbands. Um, 
And this is this was just super cute. Again, I had contrasting bands. Um, and so it's a great way to practice different color blocking techniques or or just things you want to get better at doing. So if you're looking for a nightgown instead of a two-piece pajama, the Peekaboo Patterns Dreamland Nighty is another favorite of ours. So I have made it a couple times for my daughter. Um, and this most recent one that I've got, I made for her for Christmas in 2019. And so I had made it quite long and now it's funny, it's almost coming up to knee length. So she still squeezes into it, but it's got all these little like sweet, all of these sweet little treats on it, croissants and cupcakes and, and it's just lovely. And so this was a project that I did and it was quick and I wanted some a special Christmas nighty and I had made it Christmas Eve before we had family over for dinner. I think that year we had like 27 people over to our apartment um, and we had pierogies and sausage and it was so much fun. God, I miss, I miss big family dinners where inevitably like somebody knocks over a candle and something starts on fire and somebody has to run out for ice and like someone else busts out the guitar. Like I miss my family a lot. And so I'm really looking forward to having a big family dinner someday again and it'll happen. But anyway, uh, these didn't take me very long. I had time to make them and clean my house and make dinner for my massive family. So that, that sort of tells you um, that it was pajamas first. So where my priorities lay that night, my, my family knows who I am. They're not expecting Martha Stewart, but we had a good time. But anyway, so this is really cute. It's got both gathering on to the skirt attached to the bodice. So good way to practice your gathering. And then um, also a ruffle. So another great way to practice, practice gathering. So if you wanted to make yourself a ruffled, um, like a ruffled tiered maxi dress or maxi skirt, why is that so hard to say? A ruffled tiered maxi skirt is a really popular for spring and summer this year. But if you'd never done gathering before and you wanted to practice this sort of nightgown is great. You could also just add it to a t-shirt pattern, but I really like this pattern. I've gotten tons of mileage out of it, made great gifts. And I even had enough fabric left over to make a matching scrunchie. So, um, so that was another fun, you know, like if you're making them for a gift, it's fun to toss in. And, and again, like a little bit of fabric goes a long way with this. Um, but it's, it's really cute. It's comfortable. You could also make it shorter and just make a top length and pair it with a pair of leggings. And that would be really sweet little PJs too. All the patterns I have shown you so far are for knit fabrics. Um, but I do have one pattern suggestion for wovens. So if you prefer a flannel or if you would rather make flannel pajamas or pajamas with, you could use quilting cotton or woven. Um, I have a great suggestion for a pattern that is beginner friendly, um, but is also really easy. It doesn't have any buttons or fastenings, nothing you need to worry about because it uses a rib or a knit neckband, waistband and cuffs. And this is the Polywoggles patterned Simcoe pajamas. And so it is a, a top and pants out of flannel with the knit bands. There's also a nightgown option, which I do have, but I've never made, so I can't testify to, you know, the construction of that pattern. But I made this set for my little guy and he just loves them. And unfortunately he had a growth spurt, so they're too small for him now, but he loves these pajamas. So I think I'm gonna have to go back um, to fabric land and buy some more of this flannel. But again, like I think I bought maybe a meter of it, so it was not expensive um, to make a size two. So it's a little front, a little top. And then you can see it's a, it's a rib. I used ribbing. You could just use cotton lycra or something, a good knit with a good recovery for the neckband. So they can get it over their, their little noggin. And then it's got cuffs and then a waistband, which is a really cute finish. So if you're having trouble um, with knit neck bands and cuffs and waistbands, this is a great way to practice. So um, attaching a knit neck band to sort of a flannel shirt is a little bit trickier, but it's, a, it's again, it's a great way to practice the basic fundamentals of attaching a neck band. So, you know, you quarter your band, you quarter your opening, you match it up, you pin, 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 and off you go. Um, and really the best way to get better at that is just to do it a ton of times. And so I'll often practice those techniques on clothes for my kids. Again, like I said, for pajamas, who, nobody ever sees them, especially now, no, we never leave our house. Um, and my kids wear pajamas when we're home pretty much constantly. So almost all day Saturday, all day Sunday, if we're not going anywhere, they're still in their pajamas, all winter break in their pajamas, 
spring break's coming up here. They're gonna be in their pajamas, so I should probably make another pair. Um, but so it's a great way to practice. And so then here's the little pants. And so again, it's just a pair of, of little um, flannel pajama pants with an elastic waist, but then they have the cuffs on them. And so you could add a longer cuff if you wanted to make, you know, get a little bit more um, longevity out of them, but they're, they're a loose fit flannel pajama. So, you know, if you're not comfortable with a loose fit kid's pajama, this isn't the pattern for you, but um, it's, it is really cute and it's great practice. And, and, you know, if you want to practice, you could French seam this and practice French seaming pants, or you could, you know, again, use your cover stitch or serger or practice different seam finishing techniques. Um, and again, it's just a great way to practice. So um, I, I do recommend this pattern. It's, it's from a Canadian pattern company, I believe, Polly Waddles. Um, has a bunch of really cute patterns made out of fleece and flannel for kids. And so if that's your speed, I would recommend you check them out. Um, so yeah, so if you're a beginner sewer and you'd like to practice, or if you're uh, not a beginner sewer, but you know, practice is never a bad thing. If you have some fabric scraps you'd like to use up, or if you've got, you know, grandkids coming over at some point, um, or birthday parties you need to send your kids to, pajamas, in my opinion, are a safe gift. They're a never fail. They always um, go over really well and my kids love them. And my daughter's sort of getting to the age where sometimes she's really enthusiastic about the things I make for her and sometimes she's like, oh God, mother, no. Um, and I'm sure you can relate. If you ever were a child or you've had a child or you know a child, they get to that point where their opinions are very strong. And Emma's had strong opinions since she was about three. So sometimes sewing clothes for her is kind of a hit and miss. Um, but pajamas, she'll always wear whatever I make her. So um, it's, it's also a feel good for me. And sometimes you just hit a slump, right? And you need a quick, satisfying project to get you through it. Something you can cut out and put together in the same evening if you only have an hour or 90 minutes of sewing time. And you don't want to think too much about it. I would, uh, you know, think about kids' PJs. And if you don't have kids in your life, maybe there's a charitable organization in the town that you live in that accepts handmade pajamas. I think that would be a lovely initiative to do or something to check out. So um, poke around and see what you can find. Anyway, that's it for me today. I hope that you have a great day and thank you so much for watching.